white too, but you can use clear glue. And you, and also you need some laundry detergent. I'm using Tyco. You can use any. And um, you can use some paint or some food coloring. I just wanted to use paint so I can make colors. Like, with it. okay. So, and I'll also be needing something to mix in and something to mix in. And you might want to store your slime in this in a plastic bag. So let's get started. First step, add in your glue. There's no exact measurements of your glue, so you can choose how much glue you want. In your color, if you had it, if you are gonna use any color. You can add three to five drops. And then you're gonna mix. did not become purple, but I did like this color. So I'm going to use that. So then adding in your laundry detergent. Whoops. I added too much. But you're going to start little. So add a very little bit of it. And you're mixing the glue. Pour some in. And then you just mix it. I poured it all over because I wanted a lot of slime. Once it comes to this rubbery elasticity, you just want to get it with your hands and knead it. So I'm kneading it right now. Sometimes it can feel pretty gross and sometimes it can be sticky. Because once, once one of my signs felt gross and this one feels very sticky. And once I completely ruined my slime, because I added some slime, and it seriously was not the best slime I've ever had in my whole life, because it was seriously not even, well, it was stretchy, but while I was kneading with it, it got all over my hands, because it was so sticky. I just decided to add a little bit more laundry detergent. If it's too sticky, add more laundry detergent. And if it's not that stretchy, add more glue in. And mine, and there it is. And that's how to make mine. And that's and you and this slime was made without borax, liquid starch or liquid starch. So.